John Beltran, Jan Goodolf, Akra Bishop, Match Club High School in Denver. We'll get to the Beat Diggers starting lineup here. Beat Diggers have changed starting lineups game in and game out, but they do go with the main two in the backcourt, Jeffrey Dunker, and in the frontcourt, Mitch Torbolin. And joining those two will be Jake Brown, a junior, along with junior Trey Cranson. And the fifth member, junior Randy Baker. We mentioned the Beat Diggers are coached by Ken Garcia. Bishop Matchbuff, coached by Mike Augustine. And this team a more experienced team than the Beat Diggers. The Beat Diggers only have two seniors on their roster and only one senior, Mitch Torbolin, who plays regularly. Ten players on this roster for Bishop Matchbuff. And of the ten, five are seniors. The Beat Diggers dress in their road maroons with the black lettering and the gold numerals. Bishop Matchbuff in their home whites with the green numerals and striping as well. No doubt, Jen, looking at this roster, some six four, six fives that Beat Diggers are going to have their hands full on the boards. Well, as I was watching them warm up a little bit, it seemed like they were going to be a pretty speedy team up and down the court, just watching their movements, watching them cut through the lane, looking at the way that they handle the ball. It looks like they've got good ball handling skills, and they're going to be fast. Nick Turner, a 5'9", senior guard, along with 6'4", senior center, Cy Wemel. Also in that starting lineup, Matt Timlin, a 6'0", junior guard. Aaron Beckman, a 6'2", junior guard forward. And the fifth member, Kevin Garcia, a 6'4", senior forward. And the opening tip is brought to you by Meyer Phillips Insurance with locations in Fort Morgan and Brush, offering home, health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance, Meyer Phillips Insurance. This will be the fourth game of the season for the Beat Diggers, third on the road. It'll be Garcia jumping center with Torbolin. And the Beat Diggers are looking to extend their perfect season. And the game is underway. The tip is controlled by Torbolin over to Randy Baker. Dunker into the front court for Brush. Picked up by Beckman. Getting a pick on the outside right by Baker. Dunker maintains the dribble. Dribbles right baseline all the way. Looked like nearly stripped. Got the ball back. He went up and no whistle. Nick Turner was able to strip the ball and take it away by Devin Garcia. Here comes Nick Turner at the free throw line. Over to Garcia on the high left. Down low. The dribble. The layup is in by Cy Wamel. Bishop match ball two. Brush nothing. Cranston into the front court on the high right to Baker. Baker against Beckman. Check that. That's Garcia. And he was fouled as he drove into the lane. And the foul was committed by Devin Garcia, his first. Uh, it looks like this basketball team could be quite physical as well. Oh, that's okay. We've been in some physical games before. I mean, look at the Akron game. So they, these guys know how to handle that. Cranston to throw it in. Looking. Lobs it near the timeline to Baker. Baker dribbling to his left. On the high left to Jeffrey Dunker. Dunker against Beckman. Back to his right. The Beat Diggers are going to be patient on offense. Now pass in the left corner for Baker against Garcia. Holding the ball up high is Baker. Dribbles to his right. Down low for Dunker in the lane. Spins. And the shot off the glass is no good. And the rebound is controlled over there by Nick Turner. Bishop Matchbuff wants to run. Long pass. Back up and in by Cy Wemel. He's got four. Matchbuff four. Brush nothing. 6.43 to go in the opening quarter. Cranston with the basketball behind his back. Strip, but he's got the ball back as Matt Timlin nearly took the ball away on the outside right to Dunker. Dribbling right to the free throw line behind his back between two. Lost the ball, loose to the floor, picked up by Dunker, and then throws it off the foot of a matchball player intercepted over there by Matt Timlin. Long passes out of bounds intended for Garcia. Beat Digger basketball. I think it's one of those things they just need their first basket until they settle down here on the road. Well, I agree with that. I, I just think that you you got to pass the ball around and make that defense shift in order for that to happen. Here comes Cranston for Brush. With the Beat Diggers trailing 4 to nothing in Denver. At the top of the three-point circle, picks up the dribble. Bounce pass on the outside right to Dunker. 
Dunker gets a pick from Thorpe Hall and dribbles to his right all the way, scoops it off the glass, and a foul committed by Karen Peckman. Jeffrey Dunker to the line to try and make it a three-point play. Dunker to shoot one. Free throw upcoming is in the air, and that is in and out. And the ball is out of bounds, and that is off. Uh, Bishop Matchbuff and Devin Garcia as Andre Hilson comes into the game for the Buffaloes. So the beat diggers to throw it in. 6.06 to go in the opening quarter. Brush trails by two. Cranston holding the ball up high, looking on the outside right to Baker. Baker against Waymo, dribbles by him, pulls up from 13. That's off to the left. And Nick Turner has the rebound for Matchbuff. His second, Turner quickly across midcourt and dribbles into Dunker. Dunker commits the foul. And Nick Turner is extremely quick. Well, I kind of predicted that we were gonna, they were going to face a running team, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. And the beat diggers know very well how to do that same thing. So if we can kick it to the other side, we'll see what kind of defense that the Matchbuff Buffaloes have on the fast break. Stop, shop, and save with all of your grocery needs and snacks for game time enjoyment. Brush Grocery Cart, 1302 West Edison Street in Brush. Beat diggers come up with a steal. Here comes Bryce Needens into the game. On the high left between his legs at the top for Baker. Baker right of the lane all the way, scoops it up, and... And it rolls in! Off the lip of the rim and through for Randy Baker. Deadlocked at two. Deadlocked at four, I should say. 5.30 to go in the opening quarter. The leader, the shot is missed by Garcia. Gets the rebound, spins, turns, shoots, and he misses off to the right. And now the rebound is put back in a foul as Ty Wamel went back up for the shot and Mitch Torbolin committed the foul for Brush. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of out of sync down low. We need to have some bodies helping out Mitch. He can't do two people at once. Free throws coming up for Cy Wamel, who's got the only four points of the game for Bishop Matchbuff. And the free throw is up, and that's a brick off to the right. Second free throw is upcoming. Aaron Beckman checking back in for Andre Hilson. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or free owned vehicle, Ehrlich Toyota East at 1209 Main Street in Fort Morgan will professionally fit you to the car truck of your choice. Serving all of Northeast Colorado, early Toyota East, second free throw, no good, Rosenbrock. With a rebound for Brush, here from the beat diggers, and Baker across the timeline, 5.17 to go in the opening quarter. Brush four, Bishop Matchbow four. Austin Garcia lobs it down low for Rosenbrock, knocked out of bounds by Nick Turner. Beat diggers retain possession. And to throw it in is going to be Austin Garcia, the sophomore. Two sophomores, two juniors, and a Senior on the court for Brush. Garcia on the outside left to Torvalen. Gets a defender in the air. And right down at him was Cy Wamel who committed the foul. That was a smart, smart move by Mitch. He could have turned the other direction and had a lane to the basket, but he was getting the big guy into foul trouble. And Wamel is out of the game. That's only his first throw into the game is Thomas McCarty. Garcia to throw it in. Looking, looking. Down low for Nina's lost the ball, got it back, dribbles it back on the outside left, three in the air. It's going to be off the bottom of the net. Torvalen tries to save it and does. Knocked it bounce by McCarty. Beat diggers retain possession. It looks like Matchbuff is content to stay just in a man-to-man. Garcia to throw it in. In the right corner for Torvalen. Back out to Baker. On the outside right to Garcia. Right of the lane. His runner's up and short. Rebound Torvalen. Puts it back up. Switch. Mitch Torvalen. The beat diggers are on a 6 nothing run. Brush 6, Bishop Matchbuff 4. 4.45 to go, first quarter. Garcia with the basketball on the outside right. He's going to hand it off to Timlin. He'll take the long three that's off the front of the rim. And the rebound is controlled by Baker. Here comes Baker. It's a three on four. Left of the lane. Back out Garcia. Fakes the three. Left of the lane. Steps in. 12-footer. Is around and no good. Nick Turner with a rebound. Four Bishop Matchbuff. He wants to run. It's a three on three. Timlin down low. McCarty banks and scores. For McCarty. And the game is deadlocked at six with 4.19 to go in the first quarter. Needham's calling out the play in the backcourt. Across the timeline. The outside left to Baker. Baker dribbles left baseline. And he... Throws it down low to Rosenbrock, and he goes up, and he scores off the glass. Rosenbrock with a head fake is able to put it in. Brush 8, Bishop Matchbuff 6. On the outside right, the pass down low to Garcia, out of bounds. Aaron pass by Aaron Beckman, and Matchbuff commits her third turnover. Beat Digger basketball leading 8-6 to six with 3.59 to go in the first quarter. 
At 502 Ensign in Fort Morgan, b and Appliance can help you save water, energy, and the environment without sacrificing quality and performance. Change for the better with b and Appliance. Garcia at the top on the outside right against Timlin, looking to his right. Back to Needens. Needens will pull up for a three. Good! For Bryce Needens, he drills the triple. And the Beat Diggers now lead by five. Rush is on an 11-2 run. And Nick Turner's foul. No! That's uh, on the baseline there by Nick Turner. He commits the turnover. No foul. That was awfully close, though. Kyle could have been called for that. Yeah. To hedge him a little bit more and make sure that he's got that sideline as another defender so that they can get the trap put on. Bay Diggers on an 11-2 run, as I mentioned, leading 11-6. 3.29 to go in the opening quarter. Garcia with a basketball. Off to his right to need it. Dribbles by Hilson. Bounce pass down low for Rosenbrock, and he misses the shot. And the rebound to Tormullen. Dribbles back to shoots, misses. And the rebound is controlled over there by Cy Wamel. Nice job by Torbolin. Couldn't finish. Here comes Hilson the other way. And then we've got an offensive foul. Garcia took the contract as Andre Hilson was out of control. Beat Digger basketball. And that's five turnovers for match buff. The Beat Digger's only with one. With 3.13 to go in the first. This is going to be a fast-paced game. It looks like both teams want to try and run. Both teams they are playing man-to-man right now. Both teams are going to have to rebound. They're going to have to fight for it. Bryce Nathan's across midcourt with the basketball. The outside right, the chest pass to Garcia. Guarded by Timlin. Gets a pick from Rosenbrock at the top. In the lane, his runner is up off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound to Torbolin. He misses. And the rebound is controlled by Thomas McCarty. Torbolin having issues finishing. He's getting the rebounds. He's got three already. He'll sit the other way. Bounce pass. Left corner. Timlin. He'll take the three. And that's off the back of the rim. And Randy Baker has the rebound for Brush. And the ball is dribbled off the foot of Garcia out of bounds. And that turnover gives Bishop Axbuff the basketball with the Beatrice up 11 to 6 with 2.41 to go in the opening quarter. And here comes Sean Whiteley into the game for Matt Timblin for Bishop Axbuff. And to throw it in will be Aaron Beckman. Bounce pass in the corner for Hilson. Back out to Whiteley, dribbling to his right. On the outside right to Beckman. He'll put up a long shot off the back of the rim. And Bryce Needens has the rebound for Brush. Needens across the timeline on his own. Picked up by Hilson, looking to his right. Needens back near the timeline to Baker. Baker bounce pass in the high right to Rosenbrock, looking down low. He's going to swing it cross court to Needens to the top. Needens nearly stripped. Needens wrestles the ball away at the free throw line. Stripped behind out of bounds by Beckman. Rush retains possession with 2.13 to go. I thought Needens would take advantage, just go all the way, because it was a five on four at that point. Once he wrestled the ball away from the defender, nonetheless, Needens to throw it in. Needens in the left corner. Back to Garcia on the outside left against Hilson. Dribbles against Hilson all the way. Lean shoots, misses off the rim. And the ball is volleyball around. Rebound to Mullen. Back out, Needens three. And that's around it, no good. And the ball is loose and it's picked up by McCarty. McCarty with a rebound for Bishop Matchbub. We've been stuck at 11-6 for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Andre Hilson across midcourt. On the outside right with a basketball, Connor Vaughn now into the game to Hilson. On the outside left to Thomas McCarty. Back to Hilson. They'll set up the offense very patiently. On the high right, that's Vaughn with a basketball against Stevens, and we got a traveling violation. Let me go back one play. You know that save that Mitch had to be able to not only save the ball from out of bound, going out of bounds, but to find a person just standing there waiting for a spot of three. That's pretty good teamwork right there. And well, for Bryce to just be hanging in the right spot, the right angle for the ball to come in, that's good. It was almost a rebound and an assist on the same right. play, but he couldn't knock it down. Garcia, three, is off to the right. The beat diggers are off. And Connor Vaughn has the rebound, and there's going to be a backcourt foul committed by Bryce Needham. That's a good call. Looked like he hooked him a little bit. He did hook him a little bit. And I think Bryce, Bryce needs to get his composure here. Understand that's part of the game. A minute 22 to go. Beat diggers will press. Bishop Matchbuff had two field goals in the opening minute. They've been held to two points in the last five and a half minutes of this game, but the Beat Diggers only have a five-point lead. And they're just doing a little 2-1-2 two, two. zone defense. It's kind of soft right now, waiting for it to get to half court. And the overhead pass is taken over there by Nick Turner, dribbling left baseline, scoops it cross court, out of bounds, intended for Corey Campbell. And that's turnover number seven for Bishop Matchbuff, and they rotate lots of players like Brush does. They do, and they are sending them in about every 30 seconds, it seems like. Including Devin Garcia, who's into the game for Connor Vaughn. 
big difference in this game so far. Not only the five points, the five turnover difference. Brush with two. Bishop Matchbuff with seven. A minute seven to go. First quarter. I'm John Beltran with Jen Goodall. Brush leads Bishop Matchbuff 11 to six. On the high right with the basketball. Under the game is Jake Brown. It's a stop for Tor Mullen. Tor Mullen looking down low. Switch it right side to Needham. Needham nearly fell down and then looked like he was bodied up and fouled. That might have been Nick Turner who committed the foul. It was. And for Bishop Matchbuff, that is their 15th foul. The beat diggers have three with 55.4 seconds to go in the first. Garcia to throw it in to the left of the basket. He's got Brown. He had Brown open. He's got to get rid of the basketball pretty quickly. Does it a right corner to Brown. Back out to Rosenbrock. Cross-court pass to Garcia. He'll take the three. And he'll, he throws it in first Bishop Matchbuff bench. And Brush now leads 14-6. to six, Applying the backboard pressure. With the basketball is Matt Timlin. Timlin picked up by Garcia just beyond midcourt. Back out to Garcia at the top. Devin Garcia with the basketball. Straight away taken by Corey Campbell. Now here's Timlin penetrating right baseline. Spinning on Garcia. Cut off. Backs it out to Devin Garcia. With 24 seconds to go. Lob at the free throw line. Back to Garcia. Spinning. Looked like he was signed up by Rosenbrock and he traveled. Rosenbrock actually let go. And because he kind of let go, the traveling violation was gone. It would have been a jump ball situation. Rosenbrock played that beautifully. They were running just a four high, which means they can run off the screen, find a way if they're going to go one-on-one, or they're going to drop somebody for a back door. They stayed, so he went off the screen. Rosenbrock played that perfectly by hedging off the screen, stepped in, and then let go. Beat diggers have the basketball up by eight with 14 seconds to go. Needham to cross midcourt against Nick Turner. Dribbling to his right. Gets a pick from Rosenbrock. All the way scoops in right corner to Austin Garcia. Right of the lane. Pulls up from 15. Yeah, no. Off to the right. And the banker's missed by Rosenbrock. And the ball's loose to the floor. Picked up by Brown. He didn't take it. He can't take it before the end of the buzzer. And that is the end of the opening quarter with a score. Brush 14. Bishop Matchbuff 6 on 10-10 KSIR. And KSIR.com. Brush 14, Bishop Matchbuff 6. The Buffaloes have the basketball first to begin the second quarter. John Beltran with Jen Goodall from Bishop Matchbuff High School in Denver. Nick Turner to throw it in. Bounce pass in the front court to Devin Garcia. Hands it off to Turner. The outside right beyond the three-point line near the top. Timlin was there along with Beckman. Picked up by Timlin. Against Trey Cranston, outside right to Turner, guarded by Jeffrey Dunker. On the outside left to Timlin, near the timeline, now to Turner. B. Diggers with Dunker, Cranston, Baker, Brown, and Jacob Nichols. On the outside left, Timlin with a basketball. Cross-court pass taken by Beckman, steps in. Right corner, long three is up and good by Nick Turner. He drills the triple. And the B. Diggers were on a huge run. And that's been stopped because of that three-pointer. Baker all the way, lost the basketball, loose to the floor. And picked up by Turner. Here comes Turner to Garcia all the way. Lays it up too strong. And the rebound is controlled by Jake Brown. Here come the beat diggers the other way. Dunker's going to slow it down. 7-12 to go. Beat diggers trail 4 nothing, And then one on a 14-2 run to close the first quarter. Dunker with a basketball. Dribbles by two. All the way. Scoops it down low for Nichols. Nichols back out. Bounce pass to Baker. Baker spinning at the top for Brown. Wide open three. He'll take it. He'll miss it off to the left. Not even close. And Nick Turner has the rebound. His fourth rebound for Bishop Matchbow. On the outside right, Beckman with a basketball. Holding it up high. Cross-court pass to Turner straight away. Guarded by Jeffrey Dunker. On the outside left to Timlin. Timlin against Cranston. Gets a pick. Dribbles into the lane. Pulls up from 10. And that's off to the left. And the ball is volleyball into the hands of Trey Cranston. His first board. Cranston by himself across midcourt. Picked up by Timlin. Back out to Baker as the beat diggers will set up the offense on the outside right to Brown, guarded by Turner at the top for Baker. With 6.22 to go in the second quarter, beat diggers lead by five. Bounce pass, Dunker turns, shoots, big scores for Jeffrey Dunker. I mean, he can do anything on the well, off court. But he realized that he had a smaller guard on him. When they switched on that and they had a smaller guard, that was perfect timing for that. Back to the Turner, 16 to 9, brush over Bishop Matchbuff, approaching the six minute mark of the second. Here's Timlin on the outside left of Beckman. Straight away to Timlin, guarded by Cranston at the free throw line for Garcia. Garcia spinning, looking all the way, scoops it off the glass, and no good. Too strong. Rebound controlled by Craig Cranston to brush. Cranston across midcourt at the free throw line, no look pass, and the up and under move by Baker. He's fouled. Baker got hacked in the act by Aaron Beckman, and that'll be his second. And Trey and Baker did something that not very many people, they have that sixth sense where it's a no-look pass. you got to know who's going to be able to cut where. And Baker did a nice job of leading his defender up high and then backdoor cutting him. 
Russia's local Napa and Hardware Hanks and Small Engine Repair Shop. His hometown auto and hardware. Stop by and let them help you at Hometown Auto and Hardware at 1305 Edison Street in Brush. The first free throw is no good. Beat Diggers did have this issue. Poor free throw shooting against Wiggins, but they won the game by 29, so it didn't matter. This will be closer. Second free throw is up, and that's in and out. And the ball is tipped around into the hands of Timlin. So Baker goes over two for the line. On the outside right, Beckman fades a three. He spins, he fades, he gets it back out to Timlin straight away, three, and that's in for Matt Timlin. He drills the triple. The beat digger lead is down to four, 16 to 12, 527 to go in the second. Baker at the free throw line, stripped by Timlin. Baker diving for the ball, gets it back over to Dunker. Dunker, long pass to Cranston, penetrates left baseline, down low for Brown, he puts it up and in. Cranston with the assist. Brown with the pocket, that is perseverance there. There was a 50-50 ball that came the beat digger's way. Rush 18, Bishop match but 12, 507 to go second quarter. Tim Lowe with the basketball, gets the pitch from Garcia, spins, and then a pass is intercepted by Dunker. Long pass to Baker, headed in a bounce, and Baker cannot save it in. He does instead to Timlin. Timlin to Garcia behind the back, and we've got an offensive foul. Jacob Nichols took the contact from Devin Garcia. We'll commit the second foul. And for Matchbox, that's their 10th turnover. They had eight in the opening quarter. And here comes Sean Whiteley into the game for Devin Garcia. Branson to throw it in. The pace of the game is quick, and I, I like the pace, and it works for both teams. Both teams are good at that pace. However, the turnovers are, tend to be a little bit higher, and Match Buff is on that losing end right now. Ten turnovers to four for Brush. Cranston with the basketball. Bounce pass in the high right to Brown. Brown cross court on the outside left to Baker in front of the Buffalo's bench. Baker dribbling to his right against Aaron Beckman. Back to his left, looking, looking, bounce pass. Down low for Dunker, dribbles, and then he was hooked and fouled by Andre Hilson. That'll be the 18th foul, one-on-one situation. And Jeffrey's going to have that all night because those two guards from match up, actually all three of them that are in there are smaller than Jeffrey is, so he's going to be able to post up whoever he wants to. Eight diggers replace four. Edens, Garcia, Tormolin, and Rosenbrock now into the game. The beat diggers are 0 out of 3 for the line so far. Bishop Ashbuff is 0 for 2, so nobody's made a free throw yet. And that's off to the right. And the ball is added into the hands of Aaron McCarty. The other way, here comes Bishop Ashbuff. The 3 is around and no good in the corner. Rebounded to Hilson. It was missed by Timlin. Straight away, Whiteley 3. Off to the right to Brick. Rebound to Mitch Torbolin. Here comes Brush the other way, leading 18-12, to 12, 4.07 to go, second quarter. Garcia the high right to Needens. Needens looking to the right corner. Garcia will take the three, and it's off the back of the rim. Long rebound to Kyle Rosenbrock. They'll beat the reset. In the lane, the ball to Needens. Needens going to have to back it out. Right wing to Garcia. Garcia back out to Needens. Left wing three. He pulled the string. Rebound to Torbolin. Torbolin spins it away, hands it off to Rosenbrock, and Rosenbrock travels. Bay Diggers have committed their fifth turnover. Brush is just not hitting their shots. They're getting open looks. They are getting open looks, and they're getting point-blank looks as well. They just got to muffle it up there and finish it. Matt Timlin to throw it in a low-scoring game. Both of these teams have scored quite a few points this season, but not today so far with 3.39 to go in the second. Brush 18, Bishop Matchbook 12. Timlin picked up by Dunker. Outside left, Hilson three in the air. Yes. For Andre Hilson, he nails the triple. That's the third three by Bishop Matchbook ball in this quarter. 18 to 15. Brush, 3.23 to go, second quarter. Dunker with the basketball. Bounce pass to Needens down low, stripped away by Connor Vaughn. Intercepted by Andre Hilson. Here comes the Buffaloes the other way. Hilson with the basketball, stripped by Rosenbrock, diving his Garcia to the fourth possession arrow. Brush. Solid defense by the Beat Diggers. They'll have the basketball, looking to extend the three point lead. They were up by as many as eight. That was after the opening quarter. You know, I'm still liking the desire that the boys are showing because those 50 50 balls and that hustle getting on the floor, down and dirty a little bit, that's, that's going to win them the ball game. Friendly staff at High Plains Bank and Wiggins is ready to assist you with a home loan, equity line of credit, commercial loan, or checking account to receive hometown service and a higher plane. Visit High Plains Bank and Wiggins. Garcia, the high right to Bryce Needham. Needham's against Hilson. Lost the basketball, picked up by Hilson. Then we got a foul and brush in the backcourt. It looks like one of, I don't know, if when Austin threw that ball, if the matchbox player got hit in the face. 
While the foul was committed by Needens, that's Brush's fifth turnover of the quarter. Needens is second personal. That wasn't even the foul that I was, I mean, it, it wasn't called. That that guy just went down on the floor. Yeah, that's having Nick, a face. Nick Turner is on the floor right now. I'm not sure where he took the shot with 2.57 to go here in the second quarter with Brush leading Bishop Matchbuff by a score of 18-15. to 15. He's got his head up right now. They're, he's just being attended to. Yeah, he grabbed his nose, so I, I'm kind of thinking when, when Austin released that ball, he kind of caught him with the elbow unintentionally, of course, to try to pass the ball. But. He's just going to head back to the bench to Wolfie Buffalo's basketball. And it looks like Nick Turner is going to get some scrape into the locker room. Probably has a bloody nose, which anytime you get in the nose, that, you know, sends the eyes watering and <laughs> a little bit of pain. She's got a broken mind twice. Well, I've never broken mine, but I've had surgery did. on the nose. So you know very yeah. well. Uh, I do know. I do know. Yeah. Here comes Andre Hilson the other way. Bishop Matchbuff can tie it with a three. That's all they've got here in this quarter. Three threes. Here's Matt Timlin spinning in the left corner. Back out to Whiteley. Parking lot three, and the game is tied. A John Whiteley three-pointer. Rush 18, Bishop Matchbuff 18. 2.37 to go before the break. Dunker left baseline. With the basketball down low for Dean. It's ball poked away. Taken by Rosendrock. He misses. And then Rosendrock is fouled as he went back up for the rebound. One-on-one situation. 19 foul. But Brush is missing a lot of easy shots. And the foul was committed by Connor Vaughn, his first. Rosenbrock has four rebounds already, but the v are 0 out of four for the line. Let's see if Rosenbrock can break the string. Great throws in the air, and that's off the back of the rim. And Connor Vaughn has the rebound. And there's a steal by Dunker. Dunker crossover dribble all the way. Scoops it up. He's fouled by Vaughn from behind. Vaughn has committed his second. For Bishop Matchbuff, their 12th turnover. Great job by Kyle hustling to get that ball. He landed on the, the bench of Matchbuff and to save that ball in after he threw it to Jeffrey, I believe. Free throws up and good. That's the first free throw made in the game. Bishop Matchbox 0 for 2, and the b Dickers are now 1 for 6. So the free throw shooting has been atrocious on both sides, but especially brushes because they've taken more. Second free throw up coming, and that's in the air, and that is well short. The rebound is controlled by Devin Garcia. Brush 19, Bishop Matchbox 18. 2.15 to go in the opening half. Long three, widely up and off to the left. And Mitch Tormolin has the beat bigger rebound. Tormolin with a seventh. Outlet to Needens. Looks like he was bonding up an offensive foul. Needens pushed off. Needens has committed his third. He's going to have to be taken out of this game. And Baker comes in for Needens. Now for Dunker. Uh, I'm wondering why is Bryce Needens still on the court? He's got three fouls. Uh, that makes no sense whatsoever. I'm sorry. Two minutes to go. Here's Hilson with the basketball at the top. Guarded by Baker. Gets a pick from Garcia. Dribbling left face on all the way. Reverse layup is no good. And the ball is kicked out of there. It goes out of bounds. Baker tries to save it in. And does to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock jump past to Baker with one to beat. Pulls up from ten. Around. No good. And the ball headed out of bounds. Saved it by Hilson. Here comes Bishop Matchbuff the other way. The pull-up, the shot off the glass around, no good. Tormola grabs the rebound. It was missed by Sonny Wamel. Here come the beat diggers the other way. Baker near the timeline to Garcia, minute 25 to go. Garcia behind his back, spinning at the free throw line, fading, shooting, scoring. Nice shot by Austin Garcia. And he now has five in the game. Brush 21, Bishop Matchbuff 18. Outside right, Devin Garcia three. It's off to the right. The rebound controlled by Whiteley, and we have a foul. The foul on Needham. I'm sorry. I don't know why he's in the game. I have no idea why he's in the game. With three fouls, and now he's got four. That makes no sense whatsoever. And now Needham's going to have to sit for a while. With that type of depth, he should have been taken out after the third foul. And Beckman to throw it in. Beckman on the outside left to Hilson. Back out to Whiteley. On the high right to Garcia. Bishop Matchbuff can tie with a three. Against Torbolin. Crossover dribble at the top. Looking down low. 
Swings it back out to Hilson. High left to Whiteley. Down low in the lane. Here is Wavell. Wavell spins, hooks, misses, and he travels. That is turnover number 13 for Bishop Match Club, Beat Digger Basketball. They've committed six in this quarter, so Brush really has not had a great quarter taking care of the basketball with six turnovers and only seven points. Into the game now is Corey Campbell for Bishop Match Club. Both teams are still playing man-to-man defense, so it's still going to be a high pace, and it's probably going to be riddled with turnovers. Garcia for Brush across midcourt at the top, dribbling left of the lane, spinning at the free throw line, fading, shooting, and it's an air ball. Tormolin scoops it up and in. Garcia thought he was fouled. I didn't see any contact, but nonetheless, Tormolin's able to score. Brush 23, Bishop match for 18. Wiley with the basketball, left corner, Hilson free in the air. That's an air ball. Randy Baker comes up with the basketball for Brush. On the outlet to Cranston. Cranston across the timeline to Baker. Pete Diggers more than likely will hold for the final shot. With 14 seconds to go, Baker near the top of the basketball, dribbling to his left, gets a bit from Tormolin, backs it out to Rosenbrock, left of the lane, pulls up from 10, around it, no good. Sean Whiteley has the rebound. Whiteley in the backcourt to Hilson, and it looked like Hilson was nearly fouled. Pete Diggers tried to strip it away, that's the end of the opening half, and that was very risky by Brush, because that could have been a foul 60 feet away from the basket, but luckily that aggression did pay off. We have played 16 minutes. With a score, Brush 23, Bishop Matchbuff 18 on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. The Beat Diggers lead the Bishop Matchbuff Buffaloes 23 to 18 as we head to the third quarter. Along with Jen Goodall, I'm John Beltran from Bishop Matchbuff High School in Denver. And let's see who the Beat Diggers sent out to begin the third quarter. Brush has committed six fouls, four by Bryce Needens. And Bishop Matchbuff has committed ten fouls. And they have four players with two apiece. It'll be Aaron Peckman, along with Cy Wable, Devin Garcia, Matt Kiblin, and Nick Turner for Bishop Matchbuff. They'll have the basketball first. Jake Brown, Jeffrey Dunker, Randy Baker, Mitch Thorbolin, and Trey Cranston, the starting five to begin the game for the Bee Diggers. In the backboard to Turner. On the outside right to Timlin against Cranston. Timlin looking at the top. Here's the long shot that's up and well short. Missed over there by Wamel. And that's the 10th rebound. The hop by Mitch Tormolin. Here comes Tucker spinning. Nearly stripped. Gets it out to Baker. Baker in the lane all the way. He's fouled. And the foul was committed by Aaron Beckman. That'll be his third. And an adjustment already by Matchbuff. They're going to try, any time it goes to the wing, it looks like they're going to try and put trap on. Hilson is in for Beckman. Cranston to throw it in. Looking, lobs it at the top for Torball. and shot is up and off to the right. He misses badly. It was only about a seven-footer, not really towards the top. Waymo grabs the rebound. Here comes Nick Turner in the lane. Lost the basketball off of Dunker. Taken by Hilson, three in the air. Off the back of the rim. And the ball is loose and rebounded by Torbolin. Boy, the bodies went flailing there. Dunker bounce pass. It's off the back of the leg of Waymo. B. Diggers turn it over. And the other way, here's Turner. Offensive foul! As he dribbled right into Cranston. I mean, the one thing you can say about the B. Diggers, Jen, when they're on their A game, is their defensive presence th- this afternoon. Well, and they're not afraid to take a hit. I mean, the Akron game proved that. They played that game very well, considering how much physicality there was. And this game is, that game helped them with this game, I believe. Now let's see if the beat pickers can convert on the offensive end. They're up 23-18. to 18. Nearly one minute has expired. On the outside left, Cranston with the basketball. Three to line, two ball in left corner. Brown, three in the air. Yes! For Jake Brown with the best initials on the team. He now has five. And the beat pickers lead 26-18. to 18. I had to throw that in. That's the element of exaggeration, but anyway... On the outside left, Turner with the basketball. Bounce pass to McCarty in the lane. Double team spinning, hooking, and he misses off to the right. Rebound to Hilson. Hilson's going to have to back it out. Long three is up by Timlin. That is Matt Timlin with his second triple of the game. Rush 26, Bishop Matchbuff 21. Six and a half to go in the second. Dunker with the basketball on the outside right. Dribbling to his left, behind his back, back to his right. Right base by the... Brown all the way, and he's suffered behind, but there's going to be a tie-up, and Brush will keep the basketball. 
I don't think Matchbuff is also going to go into it, some kind of a zone. It's like a matchup zone. They're not really staying in their spots. They're almost switching, but they're looking for that trap on the corners. Krantz had to throw it in to the left of the basket. Lobs it on the outside right to Baker. Baker dribbles, settle the lane. Down low for Torvald and Banks and scores. And Baker's having an excellent game. Good job of Mitch to shield that, for that player high also. Absolutely. Shield it. The player with his body, 28-21 brush. Down low, Hilson wide open, banks and scores. The Beatingers fell asleep on the defensive end for a rare occasion there. Brush 28, Bishop Matchbuff 23, 5.57 to go, third quarter. Dunker into the front court, picked up by Garcia. On the outside left to Torbolin, down low for Bakers. Gets his defender, shoots, and misses off the back of the rim. The ball is loose. It's picked up by Hilson, a Bishop Matchbuff. Hilson across the timeline. It's a four-on-three bounce pass. It's taken away by Dunker. Dunker, long pass to Baker. Baker will back and score! Big play by the Big Diggers, taking advantage of the 15 turnover by Bishop Matchbuff. Rush 30, and the Buffaloes 23. Turner at the top for Garcia against Baker. On the outside right to Hilson, guarded by Brown. At the top for Timlin. On the outside left, Turner, three in the air. Air ball. Mitch Tormolin comes away with another board. His 12th rebound of the game. Dunker down low for Cranston. Left baseline in the lane. Back out, Baker straight away. Three! Short. Ball rebounded by Brown. Brown out to Dunker. Dunker at the free throw line. Back out to Baker. He'll reset. Baker over to Dunker. Beat Diggers with a three could have taken a double digit lead. They're up by seven. 4.52 to go in the third. Brown, cross court pass to Cranston. Cranston to his right, spinning on Turner. Left of the lane, bounce pass down low. Intercepted by Hilson momentarily. No. He just went off his hands out of bounds. He had temporary possession, but not complete possession. Thomas McCarty's into the game for Cy Wamel for Bishop Matchbuff and Dunker to throw it in. It looks like Matchbuff is now going back to a man to man defense. Dunker to the right of the basket in the left corner for Cranston against Turner. Cranston dribbling to his right, spinning to his left. Has to back it out. Does the to Torbolin on the high left. Torbolin against McCarty. Back near the timeline to Baker. Baker to his right, spinning at the free throw line. Right wing to Brown. Brown looked like he was bodied up by Hilson. No whistle. Not a Cranston. In the lane. Cranston's runners up. It's off the back of the rim. Rebound to Cranston. Off the back of the rim. No. And McCarty has the rebound. McCarty is fouled in the backcourt. And the foul was committed by Mitch Torbolin. That'll be a second. Yeah, with those Cranston runners, I think that's why it's beneficial. If you could use the backboard, you know, to float them up there sometimes, very difficult. Use the backboard, you got a better chance of scoring sometimes. Timlin with the basketball. Down low pass intercepted by Tormos. Intended for Whiteley. Here come the beat diggers at the other end. Dunker with the basketball. Left of the lane. All the way. Scoops it up and no good. He missed it. The rebound is controlled by Devin Garcia. Bishop Matchbuff. 30-23 to 23 brush. 3.55 to go. Third quarter. Hilson. Left corner. Whiteley three. That's well off to the left. And the ball is rebounded and missed by Garcia. Ball is loose to the floor. Taken away by Dunker. Oh, boy. Brush is battling down low. Here come the beat diggers the other way. Dunker has possession of the basketball. That was his first rebound. On the outside left to Austin Garcia. Garcia at the top for Torvald and down low for Baker, and he's fouled in the lane by Andre Hilson. And for Hilson, that'll be his third personal. And Hilson looked like he was giving him a hug. He had his hand all the way around on his stomach on that one. If he'd have just had his hands off, that would have been in great position for defense. Austin Garcia to throw it in. Underneath the basket. Lobs it near the top to Rosenbrock. Risky pass comes away with it because he came back to the basketball. Right baseline to Torbolin. Torbolin spins, fades. He's not going to shoot. Hands it off to Baker. Right baseline. Baker stuck underneath. Grabs the basketball. Kicks it back out to Dunker. Dunker with 3.17 to go in the third quarter with the beat diggers up 30-23 to 23 over Bishop Matchbuff. On the outside left, Baker. Baker back on the high right to Torbolin. Torvola looking down low for Rosenbrock. Has the basketball. Kicks it back out. Dunker right baseline. Over to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock behind the three-point line. Looking, looking. Dribbling to his right. Dribbles by two. And then he's fouled. Or no, he's tied up. Oh, boy. That looked like a foul. Instead, it's going to be a change of uh, possession situation as it's pointing in Bishop Matchbuff's direction. Well, and Bishop Matchbuff seems to be fronting the post on the defensive end. They're, they're not going to... They'll give us a lob or let us attempt a lob. It looks like but they're not going to let us have... 
that nice little bounce pass that we got in the first half. 30-second timeout call by Bishop Matchbuff, and we will keep it right here with the Beat Diggers leading 30-23. to 23. Don't let finances stand in your way of pursuing your college education. Visit MCC online at morgancc.edu or stop by the campus excuse me, for a personal advising session that will get you on the right track and find out what options are available to help you. No matter what age you are at MCC, you can imagine your possibilities, believe in yourself, and achieve your goal. Achieve that goal at Morgan Community College. And committed to serving those in production ag, Premier Farm Credit is the gold standard in ag lending. Baker, Dunker, Rosenbrock, Austin Garcia, Mitch Trombone for Brush, Thomas McCarty, Nick Turner, Connor Vaughn, John Whiteley in the ball handler, Matt Timlin for Bishop Matchbuff. On the high right, Turner at the top for Timlin. Now to Whiteley, left baseline for McCarty, double team back out to Whiteley, long three, in and out. And Vaughn had the rebound, and off the hands of McCarty out of bounds, and then the beat got away with some contact. They'll have the basketball, though, with 2.40 to go in the third quarter, still up by seven. And it looks like Matchbuff is going to apply a little bit of a press man-to-man. Dunker to Garcia. Garcia spinning in the backboard over to Dunker, and now he will cross the timeline. Dunker with a basketball against Turner. Overhead pass. It's intercepted. Don't know where he was going with that. Here is Wiley. Intercepted by Dunker. Now the beat diggers come the other way. Dunker to Garcia. Two on two. He's going to have to back it out. And that ball spoke away, but he was fouled. That might have been Connor Vaughn. And it was committing the foul. His third. The Pete Dickers only have one team foul. Bishop Matchbuff now up to four. Three quarters court. Help check it underneath the basket. Garcia to throw it in. And Vaughn is out of the game. And Devin Garcia back in. Down low dunker, and he puts it up and misses. And the ball is tipped into the hands of Nick Turner. Turner with his fifth rebound. And that pass is intercepted by Rosenbrock. Right wing Garcia. Down low Rosenbrock. He banks and he misses. Thomas McCarty with the rebound. Pete Diggers cannot buy a bucket. Garcia with a three on three. He strips. Devin Garcia at the top. Then he throws it off the left hand of Nick Turner out of bounds. And that's 19 turnovers for match buff. And Chad Goodall, you called it high pace, lots of turnovers, high risk, high reward too. But more risk than rewards in this game because we have seen not too many points, especially this quarter. It's all going to help at the end of the season, though. That's the thing I like about it. At the top of the basketball is Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock looking, dribbling to his right, cross court to Garcia. At Baker, open momentarily, didn't get it to him. Here's Torbolin on the high left. Torbolin, cross court pass to Garcia against John Whiteley with a minute 35 to go on the third. Dribbling right to the lane, looked like he was stripped, and he was, but he was fouled. Whiteley made the contact. That would be the 15th foul against Bishop Matchbuff. And for Whiteley, his first personal beat diggers to trigger it in. Here comes Cy Waymo into the game for John Whiteley. Foley Brush can take a double-digit lead and break this thing open. They've had the looks, but they're missing a lot of easy baskets. Well, and that, that goes to Mass Buff credit. You know, they're just getting hands up, and they're playing for school as well. Here's Baker spinning right baseline. Wants to lean and shoot, cannot do so. Now to Rosenbach in the lane. Tor Mullen, and we've got a timeout called by Ken Garcia. 30-second timeout brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Let the State Farm Insurance office of Greg Mullen and Brush help you find the best policy to fit your life. All model life and health. State Farm Insurance is there for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call, 842-4555. With a minute 28 to go in the third. I think Coach Garcia just needed to calm them down a little bit. They were trying to do too much one-on-one stuff instead of going, setting picks for each other, making the match up defense shift. They want that overload on one side so they can get it back door. If they do that, the back door is going to be over, overlooked at times because of the defense of match up. Devin Garcia out there with Matt Timlin, Cy Waymo, Thomas McCarty, and Nick Turner for Bishop Matchbuff. Austin Garcia, Mitch Torbolin, Randy Baker, Kyle Rosenbrock, and Jeffrey Dunker for Brush. Austin Garcia to throw it into the left of the basket. Bounce pass inside Torbolin, and he hits it off the bottom of the rim, gets the rebound, kicks it back out, knocks out of bounds by Timlin. B Diggers for take possession. Yeah, I know Max Bob is playing some good defense, but the beat diggers are slumping on offense. Well, and part of it is, uh, you know, from what I've noticed with boys, their shoulders are back instead of forward when they're going up front. There's the steal to McCarty all the way, lays it up and in. Off the beat digger turnover, McCarty scores. Off the inbounds pass. 30 to 25 brush, a minute 10 to go in the third. Anybody's ball game unless the beat diggers can break it open. And we've got a whistle. 
And apparently they want to calm things down between Torbo and a brush and Cy Waymo, uh, Bishop Matchbuff, and they'll resume play three-quarters court. Beedickers to throw it in. Brush has trailed in this game, but that was very early at 4 nothing. Then they went on a nice run. But Bishop Matchbuff is dangerously close in the backcourt to Dunker. A bucket here could make it a three-possession lead. Dunker dribbles by Turner. Left corner Garcia, and there should be a foul from behind on Turner. Now that'll be the 16th foul for Turner. That will be his second. And, Jen, that's huge because... Beat Diggers now will be taking free throws from here on out. And Brush has committed only one foul in the second half. Garcia to throw it in. Looking, looking. Finds Dunker on the left baseline against Turner. Dunker lost it down low. Rosenbrock is going to back and he misses. And he goes back up and he scores. Oh, thank goodness. Missing a lot of those, but the Beat Diggers are up by seven again. 32-25. 45 seconds to go in the third. On the outside right with the basketball is Ty Waymo. Back at the top to McCarty. Left of the lane. Lost the basketball. Picked up by Devin Garcia. He will dribble back out against Austin Garcia. Devin Garcia. Cross-court pass to Nick Turner. Tries to save it in. Cannot. Gets it into Dunker. Dunker. Pass to Rosenbrock. Down low. Bounce pass to Garcia. And he's fouled on the right baseline as he went up. A hard foul by Devin Garcia. And Austin Garcia will shoot two, but he's still on the floor now, getting up just slowly, making sure he's got his bearings about him. The only time you fall that hard, you're going to knock the wind out of yourself. Hopefully he didn't, that crunch was his elbow, not his head on the floor, because that made a loud pounding sound. Austin Garcia to shoot two. Well, now you got to start hitting free throws of your brush. Because I think he, I think he hit his head, and I think Coach is, is yep, Stray is going to shoot for Austin, and I think that's a smart move. Make sure that Austin is okay, because that must have been his head that hit the floor. Trey Cranston will take the two free throws for Austin Garcia, and the first one is hit. Cranston's an excellent free throw shooter. They need him on the line because the other big diggers are pretty good free throw shooters, but not today. Second free throw is up, and he pulled the string, and the ball is loose, and it's off Rosenbrock's left hand out of bounds. The beat diggers have matched their biggest lead, but again, the free throw shooting is awful. Now, the one thing is that Bishop Mashkov has taken two free throws. That was in the opening quarter, so Brush has been extremely disciplined. I mean, I give them pretty much an A-plus on defense. Don't jinx it. Kelson with the basketball. No, they're not going to regress from this point out. Down low with the basketball. Wable triple team. Now the three by Timlin in the air is off the front of the rim. And the rebound to Kyle Rosenbrock. With six seconds to go at midcourt. Baker with four. He's got to look up at the clock with two. Baker with one. Get rid of it. 15 footer. No good. It's short. And then at the end of the third quarter with a score. Brush 33. Bishop Mitchell 25 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. The Bay Diggers lead by eight, going into the final eight minutes over Bishop Matchbuff here in Denver. I'm John Beltran with Jim Goodall. Rush 33, Bishop Matchbuff 25. The Bay Diggers have the basketball first with Trey Cranson, Jeffrey Dunker, Kyle Rosenbrock, Randy Baker, and Mitch Torbolin. It's Cy Wamel, Devin Garcia, Aaron Beckman, Nick Turner, and Matt Timlin for Bishop Matchbuff. Dunker with the basketball, just beyond the timeline. On the outside right to Rosenbrock, back to Dunker. Dunker dribbling to his right, picks up the dribble, right corner Rosenbrock. And he is double team, has to get rid of it. His jump pass is knocked out of bounds by Garcia. Haydinger's got a major break there as they will throw it in, looking to go up by double digits. Right now, this eight point lead is their biggest of the game. Rosenbrock looking, looking, still looking. Lobs it outside right to Baker, right of the lane. Lead, shoots, misses, and the ball is tipped into the hands of Rosenbrock. That's his eighth board. Back to Cranston. Cranston to Dunker. Dunker dribbling high right, right corner Baker. Back to Dunker. Left wing, wide open. Cranston, three in the air. Yes! That's right, Cranston. He throws the triple. And the Pete Diggers now lead by 11, 36 25. Cranston with four. 7.16 to go in the game. Nick Turner behind his back, in the lane, all the way, scoops it up, partially blocked by Rosenbrock. Comes away with a basketball, now to Dunker. As we approach the seven-minute mark of the game, Brush 36, Bishop Matchbuff 25. Dunker down low for Rosenbrock, tipped away. It's intercepted by Wable. He lost the basketball, taken away by Baker. Here's Rosenbrock at the top, over to Cranston. 
Grants it to Dunker. Dunker on the high left, dribbling left baseline. He's cut off by Beckman. Jump pass to Baker. Baker cross court to Rosenbrock. Fakes the three. Lost the basketball off his leg. He tries to chase it down and does. And ball is off of Rosenbrock. Out of bounds. There was plenty of contact there. Could have been a foul. Instead, it results in Brush's 14th turnover of the game. Well, and part of that is on any loose ball, it's, it's, there's no possession. So that's part of it. Beckman to throw it in. Backcourt pass to Timlin. Timlin was 6.39 to go across midcourt. Bounce pass left corner. Turner pass right to baseline down low. Waymo hooks it up around. No good. He's fouled. Ty Waymo to the line. He will shoot two. And Bishop Matchbuff is taking their first free throws since the first quarter. And those came from Waymo, and he missed both. B Diggers outscored Bishop Matchbuff 10 to 7 in the third quarter. And the free throws in the air, and that's good. The B Digger lead is down to 10, 36 26. Jake Brown is into the game for Miss Torbolin. Second free throw upcoming. Stubbs Gas and Oil at I-76 and Highway 39 in Wiggins. Stubbs Gas and Oil. Don't delay. Get there today to see why convenience is Stubbs' middle name. Brush 36. Bishop Maxwell 27. 626 to go. Dunker with a basketball on the outside left. Cratch and another three off the back of the rim, but Baker will chase down the rebound for the beat diggers. Baker bounce pass inside Cranston. Cranston then has the ball stripped away, but we have a foul on the floor. Cranston will go to the line, a one and one, perhaps. Yep, and the foul was on. Was it on? No, John Wiley's not out there. I think it was on Finn. Yeah, it was. That would be Cy Wable. Yeah, he, he jumped to block it, which he got a piece of it, but then he landed on him. So. That's the 18th foul. One and one situation. For Trey Cranston and the Beat Diggers, free throw is in. That's big because with Matchbuff not scoring frequently, anytime you get two points to counter their two, it's not like this is a 60 to 50 game. 37 27, 38 27, second free throw is good. Cranston has five in the quarter. He's outscored everybody on this court by himself. Rush 38, Bishop Matchbuff 27, 6 09 to go in the game with a basketball. Beckman on the outside left to Turner, dribbling towards the top of the three point circle. Turner on the outside right to Devin Garcia, spinning on Baker, leaning, shooting off the back of the rim, no good. And the ball is off of Garcia, out of bounds. He took her basketball. That was a very pretty move that he made. He had very good footwork on that. Just didn't go down for him. Full timeout. We'll take it with him. Five minutes, 56 seconds to go in Denver. Brush 38. Bishop Matchbox 27 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Brush 38, Bishop Matchbox 27, B Digger basketball with 5.56 to go in the game. I'm John Beltran with Jen Goodall as Trey Cranston has the ball in the backcourt for Brush. Matt Timlin, the Bishop Matchbox, beats him at midcourt. Cranston crosses the timeline on the high left of Dunker. Jump pass to Cranston, left corner, poked out of bounds by Beckman. B Diggers retain possession. All right, now the Diggers set this up beautifully last time. They are running in a 2-3, and they're trapping. Anytime the ball goes to the wing, if they can get that overload, have someone slide out to the opposite wing, they got to skip pass for a three the last time. Dunker with a basketball behind his back, left of the lane, look out for behind Strip, but he's got it right back. On the outside right to Baker, jump pass to Dunker. Dunker dribbles left of the lane, down low, Rosenbrock, bounce pass to Cranston, up and under, and he misses off the bottom of the rim. Rebound, Rosenbrock, shot up and in from seven feet away for Kyle Rosenbrock. And we got a whistle and a foul on Brown at the backboard. Well, the beat diggers haven't committed too many of those. Well, they got to they pick their battles. I mean, that's right in front of the officials. So you hit their arm, obviously. That's going to be Brown with his first. Beat diggers with their biggest advantage. They're up by a Baker's dozen, 40 to 27, 550 to go in the game. Beckman holding the ball up high, picks up his dribble. Long pass to Andre Hilson, three in the air, off the back of the rim, and the ball is headed out of bounds off of Jake Brown, and that will be Bishop Matchbuff basketball. Bryce Stevens, who had four fouls in the opening half, is on the floor for the first time in the second half. Back out there with Austin Garcia. Must be feeling better after banging his head in the third quarter and, or check that earlier in this quarter, and also in the game is Mitch Torbolin. 
Corbola tips away the pass. It's loose. It's now in the backcourt. Can be picked up by Devin Garcia as Baker went flying. Garcia crossing midcourt outside left. Long three. Timlin short. Jeffrey Dunker has the rebound for the Beatnickers. Nice block out there by Mitch Corbola, allowing Dunker to free himself. Dunker on the outside right to Garcia. Dribbling to his right. Cross court pass. Keaton's left corner three. Yes! For Bryce Keaton, it's a triple. His second of the game. Rush 43, Bishop Maxwell 27, 435 to go in the game. Andre Hilson left of the lane, nearly stripped, and then throws it off of Baker. Hilson gets it right back. Hilson in the corner against Dunker, looking, spinning, kicks it near the top, intercepted by Baker. Baker with the basketball, two on two, left of the lane. Baker's going to slow it down and back it out with 418 to go. Rush 43, Bishop Maxwell 27, Baker bounce pass to Garcia, down low for Torbolin. He banks and misses an easy one. Holy Mahungas, the rebound to Hilson. It couldn't have been any easier. And we've got a foul in the front court. And Hilson was fouled by Randy Baker. That's his first. I got to say, I don't know how Mitch missed that one. He could have made that blindfold at 10 times in a row. Almost like he's trying to be too careful. Yeah, he was there. He was. He just short-armed it. Back to throw it in. Long pass for Garcia. Foul on Baker. He tried to body him up. That'll be the 15th foul on the B-Diggers. Second on Baker in less than two seconds. And to throw it in will be back. Now we have to have a little bit of composure. Keep their head. Back to the right of the basket, left corner for Hilson, backs it out straight away. Timlin, three in the air, is an air ball. Carney tries to save it and cannot. The ball hit the baseline, beat digger basketball, and rushes out firmly in control, leading 43-27 with an even four minutes to go in this basketball game. For the best prices and special offers on top quality car parts and accessories, visit Central Auto Parts, 1001 West Mud Avenue in Fort Morgan. On the outside right, Garcia jump past the dunker. Looked like he was fouled. No call. Bounce pass Garcia. Down low for Torbolin. Bank scores! And he's fouled! Mitch Torbolin to the line, making a much tougher shot than he had moments ago. Did you see his facial expression after that? I think he was praising God, thanking him for his strength on that one. Devin Garcia with his fourth foul. That was a strong move. It was a very strong, but I just, it's easier when you're contested. Right, it is. A lot of times mentally it is because you're used to that where, you know, and we've named him Hubert, so that's just like when you get in trouble on that video game. So he did a good job. Your one-stop center for projects are in your home office or yard, and they now carry appliances. Ackley Building Center, 1402 Mill Street. In brush, the free throw by Torbola is in. And the beat diggers now with a huge lead, 46-27. This game was tied at 18 at one point. At the top, Turner, three in the air, off to the right. And Randy Baker with a strong rebound for Brush. That's his fifth board. Baker with a basketball. The outlet to Bryce Needens. Needens back out to Baker, crossing the timeline. At the top is Baker, spinning. Jump pass, intercepted cross court for Turner. Turner all the way, and he's fouled by Baker as he tried to go up on the up and under. Baker with his third. The B-Biggers have committed their 15th turnover. And Nick Turner to the line to shoot two for Bishop Matchbuff, which is without a field goal in this quarter. They have two free throws from Cy Wamel. And a timeout. 30-second timeout. Called by the Beat Diggers, brought to you by State Farm Insurance. If Greg Maughan to call at State Farm Insurance, home, auto, health, and life, 842-4555. Yeah, once the beat diggers, you know, a couple of threes, a big three. Cranston hits the left wing three. Need hits the left corner three. That's it. I mean, that's what opened it up for Mitch there on that turnaround. You hit those threes, all of a sudden, you've expanded the basketball court by about 20 more feet. Well, and sometimes, you know, when you have misses that are short like that, it gets in your head, and I think he was thinking too hard about that. So for him to see that ball go in off the bank shot, that was much harder than the other ones that he's had is a good thing for his confidence level, and it kind of erases all of those other misses. Basikers have outscored Bishop Matchbuff 23-9 to nine in the second half. And that's over 12 and a half minutes of basketball as Nick Turner will step to the stripe. Northeastern Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan is equitable savings and loan with locations in Fort Morgan and Brush. Nick Turner to shoot two. For the Buffaloes. First free throws in the air, and that's it. I'm telling you, Jen, the way Brush is looking, it's going to be hard to beat them this season. 
It is, and their depth is, is another thing. You know, when someone's off, somebody else steps up. Second free throw pack, Red missed for a bullet. Grass is 14th rebound for Brush. 46-28. Baker on the backboard, bounce pass to Dunker. Boy, Dunker looked like he was fouled by Turner, and now he is fouled by Turner. That'll be the 10th team foul, two free throws for Jeffrey Dunker. Turner commits his third. And you look at Dunker, I mean, how many better ball handlers are there than him? He's pretty solid handling the basketball. He is. Um, one of those things that he works on on a daily basis as well. Free throws up, and that one is in for Jeffrey Dunker. Letter jackets, T-shirts, and more. BUT Quest at 302 Main Street in Fort Morgan for all of your sports apparel. Second free throw in the air. Good. Rush is up by 20. This was a 14-9 and team one year ago. Almost made the state tournament was one game away. They're about to improve the 4-0. and And Whiteley had to track that ball down just at midcourt. In the lane, leading is Waymo, and he scores off the glass. Waymo with eight in the game. Backcourt pressure being applied, but the beat diggers have firm control. Leading Bishop match club 48-30. And Garcia in the front court. There's a foul, a blocking foul on John Whiteley as Garcia went behind his back. Whiteley went to the floor. But Wiley commits a foul. Double bonus situation for Wiley. That's his second. Austin Garcia to the line. How about this quarter, Jen? Beat diggers are five out of five for the line. After two out of nine in the first three quarters, they needed that because it was a problem. And that free throw is off to the left. Second free throw coming. Look to the team at Valley View Villa for rehab, short-term or long-term care needs. At 8.53, Mont called them 8.67.8261, Valley View Villa. Second free throw upcoming for Brush. Trey Cranston back in the game for the beat diggers. Free throw is in. Garcia now with six. Jake Brown in for Mitch Mullen. Brown, Dunker, Cranston, Needens, Garcia for Brush. Timblin, McCarty, Devin Garcia, Cy Wable, and the ball handler, Nick Turner. Four match club. Turner on the outside right. Gets a pick from Waymo. Dribbling against Dunker. Looking down low. Back out to Garcia. Against Needham. Long straightaway three. Off the bottom of the net. And saved in. But over to Jeffrey Dunker. Credit the rebound to Dunker. Here's Cranston. Outside right Garcia. He'll back it out. No need to shoot quickly. With a 19 point lead with 2.13 to go. Long pass to Needham's left baseline. Needham's to his right. Kicks it back out to Cranston. Near the timeline to Dunker. Dunker with the basketball. Dribbling to his right. Spinning on Turner. Dunker back to his left. Over to Cranston. Cranston with the basketball on his right hip. Dribble to his left. In between players all the way. Scoops up. He's fouled. He is fouled as he drove to the basket. Fouled by Cy Wamel. That'll be a third excellent move by the junior Trey Cranston with a minute 54 to go in the game. Brush 49. Bishop Batchville 30. Cranston will shoot the deuce. Is that five on him? Must have been five on him. Oh. Did the official well, unless I got the wrong player. Nick Turner. Okay. Well, Turner, I, I didn't have a five, but nonetheless, he's out of the game. Well, they stopped it. Usually they don't until the, the first free throw is done. And that free throw is in and out. It's a double bonus situation. Check that two free throw situation off the miss. Cranston now coming up for second free throw. He will bend. He will shoot. And he will score. Cranston was six and a quarter. Brush 50. Bishop match about 30. A minute 49 to go. Waymo right of the lane. Right baseline. Swings it down low. McCarty spins. Hooks. Misses. Partially blocked by Brown. Brown comes away with a basketball for Brush. And here's Cranston in the backcourt. Bounce pass to Jacob Nichols. Back to Cranston. Baseball pass. Front court to Needham. It's wide open as Brown. Brown turns, shoots, and scores off the glass, off the feet from Needham. Jake Brown with five and a half, seven in the game. Rush 52. Bishop match above 30. A minute 20 to go. In the lane is Waymo. Back out to Garcia. Run to the lane. Lane shoots. Misses. Fouled. And to the line will be Devin Garcia. The beat digger foul was committed by Trey Cranston. That'll be his first. Timeout, Bishop Matchbelt. A minute 16 to go in the game. Rush, 
52, Bishop Maxwell 30, on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. 52 to 30, Brush leads Bishop Mashboff as Devin Garcia will step to the line to shoot two. He has not scored in the game. Free throw is up. And in. and you look at a player like that, Jen, especially by the way he shot that free throw, you figure he'd have about 15 or 16 points right now, and that's his first point. That's a credit to the Brush defense. They've been doing a great job down low. Second free throw is good. 52-32, they'll apply the pressure. Brown to throw it into Garcia. Double team jump pass. Terrible pass. Intercepted by McCarty. And a blocking foul. As he scores, Garcia commits the foul. McCarty to the line. With a minute ten. Let me tell you, they're going to keep pressing unless the beat diggers can uh, break that court here. It's now a little 4 nothing run. Brush has nothing to worry about holding such a huge lead. But you don't want to get careless towards the end of the game, which could carry over to the next game. No, and, and you can't, you know, the officials are there, they're making the call, and that, you have to go by that. So the free throw for Thomas McCarty, who's got six points, is in the air, and that one is good. Rush 52, Bishop Maxwell 35. Brown looking, looking in the backcourt to Garcia. Garcia, long baseball pass to the wide-open Bryce Needham, and he will lay it up and in. Oh, it was beautiful. Nice assist by Austin Garcia, and Needham was by himself. He's got eight in the game. Timlin, long three. Gone from Matt Timlin. Rush 54, Bishop match above 38. Brown dribbles by two into the front court. Swings it to Nichols. Nichols going to back it out. Left corner for Needham. down low. Here's Brown. Turn, shoots, blocked. I don't know why he shot that basketball, but it's taken away by Nichols, and he's fouled. And now by Stein Wamel. Should be his fourth. And Nichols to the line. Yeah, I mean... Brown has played a good game, but you don't want to take a fadeaway on a 16-point lead from the left baseline. Two free throws for Jacob Nichols, who has not scored. This free throws up, and that's off the back of the rim. Second free throw upcoming. For Jacob Nichols, a junior. So the beat diggers up by a sweet 16, 54, 38. They led by as many as 22 in the game. You don't have to travel out of town to receive the best and most advanced hearing health care. Platte Valley Hearing Center, 409 East Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Second free throw. Yes. For Nichols. Rush 55. Bishop Mashup 38. 35 seconds to go. Hilson straight away. Three. Yes. Well, the beat diggers are backing off now. Here is Pablo Guterres into the game. He's fouled in the backcourt. And let's see who committed the Bishop Matchbow foul. That was uh, John Whiteley, his third. So Pablo Guterres to shoot a deuce. We finally have some offense here in the fourth quarter. Beat Diggers have scored 22 points. Bishop Matchbow was 16. No, it's like both benches have put some players, put the rest of their players in. I see Victor Lopez is also in. Second free throw upcoming as the first one was made by Pablo. Second free throw in the air, and that one is short. Rebound to Corey Campbell of Bishop Maxwell. Here is Hilson, 23 seconds to go. On the outside right, Tim on a 25-foot three is a brick. Ball rebounded by Connor Bond. He misses. Victor Lopez has the rebound for Brush. And the beat diggers trying to run out this clock. The ball in the backcourt. Branson across the timeline. Seven seconds to go. Branson will spin across midcourt. With four, five seconds to go, he'll just hold the ball with three, with two, with one, and the game is over. The Brush Beat Diggers have been a 4 0. Defeating the Bishop Maxwell Buffaloes, 56 41. We'll take a break and come back with a recap on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome to the Beat Digger Post Game Show brought to you by Buildings by Design. Buildings by Design and Brush takes pride in their workmanship and quality of their relationships with clients. For a free bid, call Pat Walter, 842-5837. Building today's business, Buildings by Design, as the B-Dickers win the game 56-41. And momentarily, we'll get to the uh, 
numbers here with points, rebounds, and all the others and turnovers and free throws as well as we're joined by head coach Ken Garcia. Coach, there's no doubt that when the team is off, both teams didn't obviously shoot the ball well today, but your defense looked like it was pretty much A-plus out there this afternoon. I thought the, yeah, the kids really stepped up, uh, played uh, great defense. Uh, we knew it was going to be a struggle. They had some big kids, some big strong kids, and you know our interior uh, defense did a great job of keeping them out, and everybody rebounded the basketball. I couldn't ask anything better out of them. I mean, I've got unofficially 41 to 30 in rebounds. Are you surprised that it was that good, considering, as you mentioned, we're not talking about kids who are 5'11", 6 foot. They had a couple of 6'4 players at 6'5", and you basically only have one legitimate 6'3 player, and yet you use your muscle, your will, your determination, and you won the rebounding battle pretty easily. Well, that's what we talked about at the beginning of the game also. You know, every game we go into, it seems like, you know, there are going to be bigger kids than us out there. So we keep talking about effort and, and getting good position, and then that will offset the size, and I think we really we really established that tonight. Was this a game, too, where you scored 56 points, but you felt with the ball movement, maybe you could have scored in the 70s uh, because the ball movement seemed like it was pretty good. But you're on the road, and when you're on the road, it, it's a lot different, obviously, than, than shooting at home where you're much more accustomed to making baskets. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, we got stuck in a rut uh, there in the, in the third quarter a little bit. and uh, But, uh, you know, I was for the most part, I was pleased with the way that we were distributing the basketball. And, again, you know, that, that's our pregame speech. You know, it's, it, we're not a one-man team. We're, we're a team. And, and uh, as long as we're moving the basketball and hitting the open guy, uh, then we're going to be successful as a team, and and the individual scores, you know, will come will come with that. Well, it seemed the court really opened up when Trey Cranston and Bryce Neeson. I don't know if they were back to back threes, but you're in that seven eight point range, and then 11, 14 points. I mean, it seems your team's got legitimate three point shooters, and they're not even close to how good they can actually be from three point range, at least early on in the season. Yeah, there's no doubt. We, we've got to spread the floor to help ourselves out inside, and, and that three point line is a weapon that we're gonna we're, we need to utilize, and you know, we practice it, and, and we've got some kids that can can put it in. So, you know, that's part of our offensive plan, and, and it worked out well for us tonight. A sense of relief, a little bit, not just with a victory, but. Two out of nine for the free throw line in the first three quarters, and nine out of 13 of the fourth. So at least you made them when you had to separate yourself from Bishop Maxwell. But I'm sure when you shoot 11 out of 22 for the game, that and I know we mentioned the other nine, the 29 point victory, this was considerably closer. But you, you've got to improve upon that. That's pretty obvious. Uh, there's no doubt. We work on it every day in practice, and 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 they run when they miss, and and they know how important free throws are, especially down the stretch. But. Uh, we need to definitely get more consistent with that, and uh, and it's going to pay off if we do. And if not, those close games, you know, we may end up losing them at times. So we definitely have to execute and, and uh, work on those free throws down the stretch. Right. Definitely. Final thing, as the head coach, how tricky is it now to manage how your team goes forward with the practice schedule and all that? Knowing today's December 8th, you've got two games from here all the way up until January 11th. I'm sure these kids want to play, but two games in five weeks, Coach, that is tough. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, we'll scrimmage. You know, we've got enough kids in our gym where we can scrimmage against each other, and, and, and it'll pay off. Uh, it's, you know, just as competitive as a, as a basketball game when, uh, you know, our whole varsity scrimmage each other. So, uh, you know, I think it'll be an opportunity for us to heal up. You know, we got a few injuries, especially down at our JV level. And uh, we got a few people sick, uh, you know, and so we'll use this as an opportunity to get healthy and, and continue to work on free throws and, and execute our offense and, and just keep working hard. And, you know, we can't control the schedule. So, we, you know, we just got to be ready when, when the schedule comes up and it's time to play. I guess it must be nice that you could finish out December 6-0 and with only one home game, you know, because you're playing well on the road right now. Right, uh, you know, it, it, the, the the basket's ten foot high, and you know the court's the same any gym you go into, and so you know as long as the effort's there, you know we may not shoot a high percentage or anything like that, but if the effort's there on the defensive side of things, you know we'll keep the opponents down, and if we just be a team and keep passing the basketball and hit hitting the open person and not caring who scores, but just as a team that we score. You know, it, it doesn't matter what gym you're in. We'll just continue to play well, and and, and uh, we'll take that in the next year. 
Ken, appreciate it. Uh, another great performance today. Congratulations. Thank you. Bay Diggers defeat the Bishop Matchbook Buffaloes 56-41. to That's head coach Ken Garcia as the Bee Diggers move to 4-0. Now let's go through the numbers here as the Bee Diggers were led tonight by Mitch Torbolin. Torbolin had 9 points and 14 rebounds in the game. 8 points by Bryce Needham. 7 apiece by Jake Brown and Trey Cranson, as well as Jacob Nichols, who had a check that Jeffrey Dunker who had 7 points. 6 points in the game for Kyle Rosenbrock and Austin Garcia. You had 4 points for Brandy Baker, and then 1 point from Pablo Gutierrez and 1 from Jacob Nichols. 10 players in the scoring column for the Beat Diggers. As for Bishop Matchbuff, they were led by Matt Timlin with nine points, eight apiece for Cy Wamel and Andre Hilson. Seven points by Thomas McCarty, four by Nick Turner, three points from John Whiteley, and two from Devin Garcia. So we did not have one player in this entire game that scored in double figures. Turnovers, the Beat Diggers at 16 22 for Bishop Matchbuff. The Beat Diggers with 41 rebounds unofficially, 14 of those from Torvald and 10 from Rosenbrock, 30 for. Bishop Matchbuff, and they had six rebounds in the game from Andre Hilson for the free throw line. Six out of nine for Bishop Matchbuff. They were at 66%. Beat Diggers 11 out of 22 at 50%. And now, a great joined by Jen Goodall. Time for the Beat Digger player of the game brought to you by Geo Charlie's. 700 West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. They will not be beat by anyone when it comes to price. They'll help you find a car that fits your needs and budget. If you don't see what you want, T.O. Charlie's will find it for you. Log on to T.O. Charlie's FTM.com to view inventory, current specials, and apply for a loan online. Drive away with confidence at T.O. Charlie's. Well, Jen, he didn't have the best statistical one game when you look at the points and rebounds, but this game really was about numbers that aren't on the score sheet. Right. That's, that, that's why you're giving the beat digger player of the game, too. Randy Baker. He got the lit, the fire lit underneath everybody. He was getting those 50-50 balls. He was all over the floor, flying everywhere, playing tremendous defense on players that are outsizing him a little bit at times. And, you know, just those kind of things, that rubs off on the on the rest of the team. Absolutely. Congratulations to Randy Baker, the T.O. Charlie's beat digger player of the game. Four points, five rebounds, a bunch of loose balls. And he really uh, made his mark defensively. And that's what type of game it was. It was a defensive-minded game. Beat Diggers led 14 to six after one, 23 to 18 at the break, 33 to 25 after three. So really defensive-minded there. And then brush out score Bishop Matchbuff, 23 to 16 in the fourth to win the game, 56-41. The Buffaloes fall to two and two, and the Beat Diggers move to four and zero. We'll be back at it coming up a week from yesterday. How about Friday night? Let's make it easier. Six days from today, uh, doubleheader in Holyoke against the Dragons with a girls game at 7 o'clock and the boys game at 8.30. So some late-night basketball from Holyoke coming up a week from today. I checked that on Friday. I don't know. I can't get the dates right. They don't change that on the calendar. Friday night, 7 o'clock at 8.30 from Holyoke right here on 1010 as well as KSIR.com. Excellent job, as always, by our sound engineer and producer, Rose Condes. For Jen Goodall, I'm John Beltran. The final score tonight from Bishop Matchbuff High School in Denver. Rush 56, Bishop Matchbuff 41. You heard it all right here on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.